Welcome back to my channel. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Uh, Kit and Sam, I'm feeling much, much better. Sadly, it took all of my break, <laughs> spring break, to get better. So I didn't really get to enjoy like my spring break, but that's okay. Back to work I go on Monday. Um, but I do want to share my lineup for April. Um, it's becoming a busier time of year for me um, because of swimming. So I wanted to share what I'm going to be doing for my pool, which is going to be this pocket planner here. So, um, this is a Malden Fuchsia, I think, or Magenta. I don't really remember which one. I accidentally got some ink on it already. Well, I broke it in. Um, actually, this is one of the planners that I traded um, some of my older planners for. Um, it was this one and a vintage pink A5 Malden and a peppercorn pocket spice to match my personal peppercorn spice. So, yeah, this is I. This is going. This is I'm going to be using pocket. Sorry for like stumbling over words. Uh, I'm going to be using pocket size for my swim lessons this year because it's portable and easy to carry with me. And when it hits the, this season, this time of year, I have to have something I can carry with me everywhere I go because I'll schedule appointments even while r running errands. So that's what this is. I'm going to give you a quick flip. I have some very personal information in here. So there's going to be... It's not going to be like much I can show you. It's strictly just work, um, pool stuff. So yeah, there's that. And um, then I've got my A6. This is my personal everyday carry. Um, this has definitely become my favorite. And I need to set up my weekly um, for next week. So that will be a video a little later. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, and I'm using these My Summer's Touch um, inserts, which I really like. I can do a whole bunch with them. And actually with my daily, I decided to switch from like Peanuts Flare Co. to cutting down my A6 theology and I'm much happier in this for sure. Um, I'm much, much happier. So there's that. And then I have my A, uh, sorry, B6. This is my B6 Stology. It's a brand new one. Not the cover. The cover is like my first B6 cover ever. It's a Jillio as well. Um, is this one. This is just like a notebook. Um, this is going to be just strictly pen to paper. It's not going to be any kind of like add-ins or anything like that. Um, very basic as you see and it'll have like I have an index here but I'll have just like lists just lists and notes whatever just just random writing and I've got my charcoal lemmy pen and my gray dot and that's that's literally all this is I just set it up today um, I'm really excited. I left all this just gray because it was nice and I just have some coordinating, you know, um, post-its. Cut down some black ones to be little squares like this. So, yeah, it's just, it's going to be very, very simple and I'm excited. So, <laughs> it looks like I'm going to be carrying around like three planners and I don't mind. I really don't mind. This one may end up staying home, but this one you know because I have a notes section in here anyway but I'm just glad I have a notebook now so let's talk about the pocket one what whoops while we're here so um I'm glad that I set up a pocket planner for pull this year I forget how much I love pocket plant ring planners they're just so cute and they feel good in the hand they're a great size and easy to carry with me so I just have like really simple setup nothing too crazy I have these in here from a friend gave me um I made this just with some gummy bear stickers that I liked it's actually a dash I can stick in here but 
I just have them poking out just for the hell of it. Uh, no big deal there. Um, these are pre, oh, these aren't pre-punched. These are just note pages that I write down, um, information. Hold on. I think I have some private information. I need to have. Um, I think it's in the dailies. Yeah. Well, let me move that. Those are numbers. Okay. Um, so I'm using my friction pilot Coletto type situation, multi-pin, um, because when I'm working with scheduling, you know, things change and I'm using this pink, um, mild liner, kind of matches the cover, cloth and paper, Ollie clip. So in the front, I always have some sort of quick note or, um, inbox of some sort and I've just got some. I punched some note pages in here for quick notes. Um, this is the inbox. I don't know how much I'm going to use this. We'll see. I probably will use post-its more than anything, but this can come in handy. When it comes to swim lessons, you guys, um, I have a lot of information about people. <laughs> a lot of personal information about their kids, their families, their everything. So a lot of that I won't be able to show you. Um, but when it comes to inbox, this this is this will be reminders of what I need to do, who I need to call, that kind of thing. Um, just super important. I do have a spot with a calendar. This is just at a glance. I'm not tracking anything on here. I may track like what days that I'm off or something from the pool, or I can use this as a money tracker. It all depends on how I feel. So it's just a page. Um, a month on one page. I just drew it out. No big deal. Um, this is my scheduling. So I can't show you past. Mm, wow. I have a lot of them already booked. Um, anyway, I'll show you what this is. So this is Peanuts Planner Code, but I put this on here. I like to have a color code because sometimes especially during the summer, I get so busy that I don't have time to have like multiple planners. So this will end up being like my full-time planner. So I wanted to make sure I had that option. So I'm using these inserts for this purpose. And it looks like this. So I've got a place to write down tasks, personal stuff, and then work stuff. How I'm going to, ooh, sorry. How I'm going to end up using these inserts here. Um, right now it has like personal stuff. Um, but maybe next week's better. So I'm going to I have like whatever personal like home stuff is on this side. And then work scheduling because I have scheduled clients will be on this side so all pool stuff will be here all home stuff like if I you know any kind of list to prepare for classes anything like that will go here this will all be how my scheduling it will be and what's um, and what I'm doing is with this particular insert, I work Monday through Thursday at the pool. So I literally don't even have to open it up. I can just flip through like this. Now I can't flip much further because I've got clients already scheduled yet. Um, I could just flip through like this without unfolding it so that's that's actually really helpful and I have the whole summer in here until July August 1st so I end summer session August 1st so I will be sticking with pocket size for swimming um all the way through the summer I just think it's net I end up losing information if I try and like switch around and then my next section is I cut down a Toma River pocket notebook and it's like the perfect size for the rings and I punched it. Um, this is, um, okay, I can sh show you this because it doesn't have the information. So basically it looks like this. It's just a dot grid Toma River paper and each client will have their own page and I can still use my fountain pen which I love being having it around water is not a safe like safe thing at all so I'll more than likely I'll just stick with this um but each page will have client information so this is going to be filled up so that's why I chose Toma River paper because 
it's super thin so I can get more pages in. I do have some cloth and paper dailies in here, but those are probably going to come out and I'm going to just use, put more Tom River paper in. And that's literally all this is. Um, I have this for like, um, receipts can go in the back, like swimmers receipts can go in the back or money payments that they give me, that kind of thing, um, can go in the back and here I can put, you know, coupons, whatever, or their business cards. I'll have my business cards up here. Um, and then let's see, I just made like a little notepad so I can, if I'm talking on the phone with somebody and I need to make a quick note, sometimes this is easier than like doing it here. It's just one, you know, I need options when it comes to my work because I'm so busy. I just, it has to be quick. But what I love about this is that it's small and easy to carry so that's literally my work pocket notebook now you can see it's like kind of cute right now this will probably i mean this holds my pages together and it doesn't it's not a problem it doesn't fall out or anything but i'll probably end up taking that out but the kids at the pool really enjoy seeing like my cute planners just like at the kids at school so um that this is definitely my work i'm just excited to use this and it almost makes me want to go full time into pocket it's just so cute i forget how much i love pocket planning now i will say i don't love I've tried the 30mm ring pocket planning. I don't necessarily love that, surprisingly. I like it more slim like this. Um, that's just my preference. So um, so there's that. Now for my A, we are 11 minutes in. That's not bad. So my A6 has become my pride and joy, this Jillio Gold. Like I couldn't be happier with this guy. I took out the pocket notebook in the front because now I have like my Toma River paper in there or I'm sorry, nostalgia paper, which makes me super, super happy. Um, and I also now have like a separate, you saw my B6 notebook. So I'm really happy with that. A lot of my brain dumps and stuff are going to go in here. So I'm really happy about that. And, um, yeah, I mean, I've done a flip through this. If you want to see that, you can go back and check it out but let's check out my weekly I'm going to show you what my weekly ended up looking like at the end of the week and then kind of share with you my dailies I love flipping through this there's not a lot of cute cute stuff in here but I don't know the flow of this makes me really happy I want to work on this page though um I just love all my inserts in here it's really nice even this vintage paper I just I, I love it I don't know if I showed y'all this. Yeah, I, I went through all this. So, hold on a second. Um, this is what the end of the month kind of looks like. Let me go ahead and fill out this real quick. And then it'll be the end of the video in a second. So, this isn't going to be a long video today. Um, so there's that. This is what I'm tracking my weather on. This is a peanuts. No, this is a My Summer's Touch goals, uh, like monthly insert. Um, I'll put it down in the comments, but I really like that I have a place to like set some goals for, I use a lot of this, I'm going to be using a lot of this as a mixture of things like, um, mostly for example, for April, I'm going to have all the things I want to focus on and most of it's social media stuff like this is social media posting for Instagram this is for like to keep up with PR stuff and then this is going to be these are the um, goals I have set for videos and then this breaks it down and then again this is um weather and then on the back it has schedule and to do's it'll just have like important you know dates and stuff so and if i end up needing to use this for um writing down a videos that i do on certain days i could do that as well because i also have a creative create section that i plan out or i track my videos and like posts um pr and things like that i use these as well so i really enjoy that let me just show you real quick and then i'll get off this is what my week looks like at the end 
um, this will be filled out more. So I don't know if you guys can see very well. Let me pull you in. There you go. So we've got a calendar up here, and you can kind of make this how, what, however you want. It's not like it's set in stone. Um, this is what it looks like blank. So I turned this into a tracker by turning it onto the side like this and then adding an extra line. Um, you can do so much with this. Truly, you can. You can even put like... I mean, I just whatever your brain goes for. I was thinking of using this for meal planning. As you can see, this is not a tracker. This is actually a list. Um, you can put your to-dos for the week. This is a schedule spot. You have another little monthly tracker thing. You could track like walks or whatever, focus on. And yeah, so I break mine down with schedule, um, like a faith focus just where we are in the month and then I turn it this way for the tracking here this is my happy tracking and then grateful for right here you can see Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday yeah I have two lines it works perfect um and then just weekly stuff things is going on this week and then I turn this into my sleep tracker and then a next week um list and because I have like more of a running to do list style for all that kind of stuff for the week or I can put a um, tip in for what I want done for the week it just it's, options are limitless so that's how I use these and that's what it looks like at the end of the week so I'll be setting this up on camera um, later or I mean it needs to be done like today or tomorrow so um, moving on to daily so like i mentioned i took out all the other dailies i was using these guys um i like them the peanuts planner co dailies but i wasn't i wasn't happy in them does that make sense like i like the way they look and feel but i wasn't happy so what i did i i love my astrology you guys like i love the paper um, and I'm always happiest in my astrology and I realize that I just like I still have some I have a notebook that's partly filled with like journals and stuff so I kept that together and then I have the rest where I can break it down and use as paper in my planner so that makes me super happy and I really have been enjoying my daily planning a lot better as you can see I still keep the same style as I've used through the past year when with my astrology there's something about it that about it that just man, I have such a fun time with it so this is today and um I've already accomplished quite a bit today so yep and I mean my husband did that I was gonna write something here for all of this so I haven't done this yet um, I need to do my plan with me. My mom, I guess, isn't coming, so. But anyway, this is what I'm doing. This is another vinyl from Kitty Zombie Co. I added the bows to that guy. And I have, like, things I need to do this weekend, self-care. So I just have quite a few. What I love about the thin paper, you guys, is that you can put so much of it in here. And that makes me super happy. So what's going to happen is, I don't know if I'm going to keep this going or not. I do like it. I need to set up for April um, and I then I have these notes back here so what I what may end up happening is all this will disappear not not the dailies all of this stuff and then I'll fill it with astrology paper that's probably what's gonna happen but until then right now I've got like a, a social this is supposed to be a social media section and then um, just notes and lists which I do need a notes section and stuff like that so and I do love that I have it's pretty you know this is also my summer's touch grid I love her grid paper and that's it for updates and whatnot um I hope you enjoyed this video it's a much shorter video I just wanted to give y'all um a planner lineup and then I'll have a video later of setting like a plan with me and stuff like that so I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, I love you all so much. Bye.